everybody, this is Chad. Please forgive me, my voice is shot. I've been sick for a while and I've lost my voice. Um, you can see the uh, little planted tank is growing muck. That's because I just haven't felt like uh, dealing with it. But uh, I'm starting to feel somewhat better, so I'll be trimming this up today. Um, what I wanted to talk about, if you look about the tank, uh, you'll see a lot of, of pond snails, and as a, a lot of people know, pond snails can become a plague, and they don't they don't really damage any of the plants or anything like that. But what they they do is they create a lot of waste and detritus us. It gets down in your substrate and cause some algae problems and things like that that you just don't want to deal with. So what I did is I went and I hired an assassin online. Well not an actual assassin, assassin snails. Uh, I got them from eBay and um, just got the package here. So let me show you. This is the package they came in. So this is a very nice styrofoam insulated. This is a heat pack and it's still warm. So however long ago they sent it, this thing really held up. So that's, that's awesome. Um, and so you can see the inside is silver. And then the snails themselves are in this great little bit of bubble wrap. Uh, I got five of them for $14. And there was no, no shipping charge from this particular uh, eBay seller. And I'll put the eBay seller's name in case you want to get some snails from them as well. Anyway, an assassin snail, in case you aren't familiar with them, does uh, what it says. It assassinates other snails. And so what I'm going to do is put these guys into my tank and they're going to go about eating the pond snails. Now I'm guessing um, the pond snails at this point will still exist in the tank, though it is possible to eradicate them all. They breed so fast I think that's I'll still end up with them, and that's okay because I don't mind pond snails. I just don't like them to get to the plague proportions that they're beginning to get to. Assassin snails do breed in your tank, so um, you will, you know, you likely end up with more than what you started with. But they breed slowly. It's not like these pond snails that breed so quickly. And uh, you know, there's, if you can see, focus, but there's some eggs right there. And I'm sure if I took the time to look around I'd find even more. They lay their eggs all the time. And uh, breed, breed, breed. So the assassin snails will get in there. They're a lovely uh, black and uh, yellow snail. Some people call them bumblebee snails, but that's not to be confused with the uh, reef snail, bumblebee snail, uh, as those are not assassin snails in a different variety. So I, because anytime I get something um, I acclimate it, and so especially something like this, it's been uh, in in a small amount of water for a, a great deal of time. I'm going to go ahead and slowly acclimate them to the, the temperature and uh, you know pH of my tank and everything, just to make sure that the snails do well. Invertebrates can sometimes be quite sensitive, so I always recommend that kind of acclimation. And then once I get them in, they're going to uh, hide themselves down in the substrate and when a snail of sufficient size comes across, um, they don't want, you know, to, they, they kind of judge the size based upon themselves, then they will uh, go after it, and they're faster, and uh, have themselves a meal. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. It was a good experience, and I'll try and capture an actual uh, ambush um, if I can when I get them in the tank. So, for now, thanks for watching, and thanks for putting up with my scratchy, a horse little voice. Uh, see you guys next time.